I feel like I should like go to my room and get one of my wigs. No, that'd be it looks kind fine. of like fitting. For no, 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 no. we're not doing that. Like wigs? No, 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 well, we're not want, doing that. No, this isn't the I Doomsday have... Diaries, darling. Hi, everybody! Welcome back to Two Game Mats. It's Matt Palmer. And it's Matt Steele. And we just finished watching together. Yes. Three hours. Three hours of NBC's live musical event. Yes. There's friends. I know the event that everyone looks forward to every December: the NBC live musical. Everyone is with an asterisk. And then, you <laughs> know, every, some people. Everyone enjoys at least hearing about it and seeing Making it on Twitter. Fun of it. I think it's a blast. I think, like, whether you love to criticize it or like love to love it, it's just a blast. Everyone wants watched it together I has something to say about them. <laughs> I think they're a great tradition. I think my issue coming into this one was I just have not dreading. <laughs> I've been looking curiously towards this and being like three hours of this. But I must say, as it began, I was like, you know, this is fun. I know. <laughs> And I told him the entire week he was a miserable bitch, and he was, I was just not like, a and he was just like, Ugh, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch Harry Live. <laughs> the first couple of minutes, he chuckled when she's like I the rats uh, on the street all dancing. I like, mean, he, I, he like chuckled. I laughed like, because those rats were just like rolling around. I mean, you know, was it the one you enjoyed the most? No, it was not. It was, what was the one you enjoyed the most? I think I enjoyed the worst the most. Well, I think I enjoyed it wasn't the Grease the Live the most. I mean, Grease um, Live. <laughs> that's the one that I was actually in. Were you? Really, I don't. I didn't see really you. I kept looking. I didn't see any. Student 16, <laughs> did you miss me? That was my official title. No, I, I honestly, I think Grease Live was probably the best put together, like the best production of anything. I just think Grease itself is such shit that I couldn't <laughs> not like her. This, I thought, started off strong. Good morning, Baltimore. She was in that bad the bed. It, was, it was a homage was, to the um, original Broadway stage. Oh, I loved like all the camera angles, like views from the car. NBC, you you saw Grease Live <laughs> and you were up in your yes, game. Yes, they were definitely trying to, say, to up the up entry. Up in that budget, up the money, up the sets, up the camera because that cast probably cost them. <laughs> And it definitely added a lot to have the audience members like on the TV show, like the corny whatever show. I thought that worked very well for well, what they were going for. Because you know, NBC was always like kind of a stickler. Like even when Grease Live had an audience, yeah. NBC was very much just like, we will never have an audience, a live audience. Well, they were like so stubborn about it. So NBC found a way to include an audience sometimes right. in like an appropriate setting. I kind of thought the audience should have just been there throughout because some of the numbers there was applause, some there weren't. Right. I think having the applause like adds the experience. And the laughter, because it's it's a comedy yeah. and it's funny and it's crazy and there's men in drag and it's like, you know. Right. I will say there weren't as many awkward pauses yes. in in this that as there true. have been in like, Sound of Music. <laughs> and, and you know, The Wiz. Because yeah. even though The Wiz was good, like it, there were still like awkward moments right. of pausing. Yeah. yeah, this one I feel like went off without a hitch. I don't know the show and I also haven't seen the movie. Like I haven't seen the Zac Efron film. Oh, it's great. Um, <laughs> but, so I don't know if it's the show or like this production of it that I was seeing, but it feels like the middle of it did like even at the point when she got arrested, I found myself not caring and then I looked on the screen and it's like, oh well her parents don't seem to care either. <laughs> It's like me and her parents have that in common because the mom's like, what do they say about me that she's in jail? And then people are like, oh, well, I love you, honey. Let's sing about it. She's in jail. In the stage show, they all go to jail. Okay. And there's a big musical number called The Big Doll House. I think it just is kind of natural when there's commercial breaks mm. that there's dips in the energy. Because yeah. like, I feel like when there's a commercial break, there tends to be like a dip in the energy of just the story and in like the cast a little bit. Right. And, like, and in like the odd and in like yeah. myself, you yeah. know, because I'm like, oh, commercial and then it comes back and I'm like, oh, we're, we're back. Oh, right. So I feel like that's kind of just a natural thing that happens that's kind of hard to avoid. I think it was a solid presentation. Right. I think the cast was pretty strong. What I, was the, that second song that you didn't like? Mama, I'm a Big Girl Now. Everyone was disappointed when it was cut from the movie so we were like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a film version of it and I feel like they were all kind of just like stuck in one spot like yeah. singing They're to the camera. Separated. It was It was a little weird and then all of a sudden like they came together and we're just like, I will it's, say, I, I that was the that. moment where I noticed uh, Dove Cameron, I believe we've decided yes, to name Yes, Dove Cameron. Who was Amber. Was amazing. Oh. It's like, you better sing! Are we deciding Would Dove you... Cameron is the MVP? Oh, for me. <laughs> Her singing was like very on. It was like poppy, but like Ariana was so poppy that like half of it you couldn't hear. <laughs> well, and yeah. she was like she was poppy. In the studio, but like, <laughs> <laughs> right, but Dove was like poppy, but clear. I want to know more about her. See, I actually thought Dove Cameron like really gave like, a, had a very distinct point of view with her character. So yeah. I really appreciated that. I, yeah, I thought yeah. her acting was yeah. good, but like when she would sing, I'm like, oh, <laughs> here she comes. I loved it. And of course, and, and Martin Short, I'm the biggest fan. Martin Short's one of my absolute favorite actors. So like, I thought he was like tone-wise and energy-wise just like so great. And like, 
I know where I've been was Ooh, very that well was so done. Unbelievable. Like, can you imagine like being one of those like background dancers like and Jennifer Hudson just like singing in your face and you're just like, <laughs> like on live TV just watching it all happen? She just did not care about falling out of frame. She gave zero shits no. when she was singing that song. No, she and it was, was just like just singing. absolutely Jennifer she was just Hudson. Singing. And like, she killed it. And like her acting was great. I like felt every moment she was giving. Oh yeah, when she was the emoting when she was singing. And I mean, like, you know, she wasn't big to sing about how she was big. Oh, right. That was awkward. And it's especially because, like, like they, they put her in outfits that really, like, yeah, accentuated her waist. Her and waist. Like, but, you're but you know what? She was, when she was singing, I was like, yeah, I feel you. I loved, like, the sort of nostalgia moments, like, having Ricky Lake and Marissa Jarrah Winoker, like, coming in for Welcome to the 60s, and also the original uh, Dynamites, which I, mm. I had no idea was happening um, until, like, a little bit before it aired. Also things I learned today, I had no idea that vitamin C was the original Amber in the original Hairspray movie. Why are we, why don't we talk about this? Why doesn't America know this? That is the most random, crazy fact. I, I think I'm just blown away. And this is the biggest news I've heard all week. Well, thanks, Sam. So what did you think about Garrett Clayton? Garrett Clayton? The entire cast was a full of bunch of twins. <laughs> Which is, you know, how it kind of should be. You know, they're all supposed to play high schoolers, so you kind of have to get the smaller frame boys with the bigger smiles, and they look like they don't grow any facial hair. <laughs> Hairspray's the show where the pretty boys with their side parts come out. Like, <laughs> that's what Hairspray that is. That could have been you. There were lots of pop-ins. Rosie popped oh, in. Oh, Rosie. Rosie was so good. She I was. loved Rosie, and I just love how at the curtain call, she just came out sobbing. <laughs> It's like, Rosie, you are the mother of all us musical theater children. She like, loves it as much as anyone. Can. I know. And, and it's kind of like, you know, being like a part of something like that, even though I had a very minor part in Grease Live, like it's kind of like, you do, you're just like, wow, like this whole extravaganza, even as flawed as it may be, like this is incredible. Yeah. Oh, Darren Chris was there, like talking to people. I didn't, okay. That whole like New Year's Eve special of like, we're gonna fly to Philadelphia and see how they're feeling about I had spray live! I was like, we don't need this. This feels like such filler time. And you couldn't even get the full three hours because the last 15 minutes were just like a J. Hud Ariana duet. <laughs> that I thought was the worst decision. You had this big, energetic, yes. fun finale, which yes. is a, such a smash number, and everyone is on stage and having fun and cheering, and then you cut to commercial. <laughs> and it was like, but it's over. We're but not it's over. We just back. saw the end just of it. Give us what? the yeah, curtain call. Yes, show me the credits. Um, I have things to do, places to go. We should be in charge. I know. We really Hello, should. Uh, heads of NBC. Uh, next year, next vote year. for us. Vote for us. <laughs> we do a great job. I know. <laughs> oh, would be God. so much Mariah. That whole that bye bye birdie thing. Mariah would replace JLo. <laughs> um, I believe Rosie is a very heavy dancing role. Uh, are you implying Mariah can't dance? You've seen the Honey video. <laughs> and then she did that. I'm very excited for Bye Bye Birdie. I love Bye Bye Birdie. Yes. I want to see Les Mis. I I don't think NBC Live is going to do that Les Mis so Live. Cool. I, that would be really cool, but I think people want to see something a little more cheery. Les Mis is cheery. Yeah. <laughs> is it? It's literally called The Miserable People. Well, you know, sometimes people have to die. <laughs> Sorry, kids. I guess. <laughs> it's the truth. You're going to die too one day. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Tell us what you thought about Hairspray yes. Live in the comments. Did you like it compared to the other live shows? Yes. Be sure to subscribe to us at 2 Mats. Follow us on Twitter at 2 Mats or follow us personally on Twitter at It's Matt Steele. And I'm Matt Power Music. Don't forget to like Two Game Mats on Facebook and tune in next time for another episode of Two Game Mats. We yes. saw you a lot this week. Yes. Uh, you guys are so lucky. I know, but God. we'll see you again on the flip side. On the Bye, flip side. guys. Bye, y'all. Don't stop that beat.